Good day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Lord, help us when we pray. Help us to pray and help us to watch over one another. Lord, keep us mindful as you called Cain to be mindful of his brother, especially since he'd done his brother such terrible harm. Lord, help us when we harm one another. Help us to seek forgiveness, to offer our help. Lord, teach us not to harm one another, but how to share this world, this life in peace and bring together gifts of love that we show one another as we praise you. Lord, help those who are very busy, who every time we ask them how they're doing, they say they're very busy. Lord, many people use the summer season as a time of rest. So teach us all what it means to have Sabbath, to pause in our busyness and to proclaim a rest that comes from you. And Lord, help us share your peace as we bring healing and truth into people's lives. Lord, this we pray in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. And today's devotion comes to us from the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 25. It reads, Be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of the desolation of the wicked when, it's, when it cometh. For the Lord shall be thy confidence, and shall keep thy foot from being taken. Withhold not good from them to whom good is due, when it is the power in, of thine hand to do it. Say unto thy neighbor, Go and come again, and tomorrow I will give, when thou, when thou hast it by thee. Devise not evil against thy neighbor, seeing he dwelleth securely by thee. You see, there is a, a responsibility in being a neighbor in more than just having someone to watch over the back fence to see what you're up to. Having a neighbor is the great responsibility that God has given us since the beginning, has called us to in our, in our relationships and our fellowships to recognize and celebrate the neighbor that he has given, both as a person to praise with, but also in a, a person to, to be a help to, to be an advantage to. And so the wise words of the, of the Proverbs here remind us not to plan to harm our neighbor, not plan to set ourselves over one another, but to give by virtue of being a neighbor, a chance for freedom, a chance for life exploration, a moment's rest, maybe just the assurance of, I don't know, holding the ladder or trimming that little bit of extra along the fence or whatever we do to be neighborly. It is, it is good to do good for those that we have an opportunity to help, to do good for. We need to remember also though, that as we seek to do good for one another, to remember that our valuation of what is good and what is necessary may not be shared. And as I have often reminded my children, help is help when it's the help that's asked for or the help that's needed. It's easy to give the help that's asked for. The help that's needed takes wisdom, discernment, and experience, and we are going to get it wrong. So both to our neighbors and from our neighbors. We need to offer and plead for forgiveness because sometimes we're going to give that help poorly or we'll be wrong and it won't be help at all. But given in love, they'll know it comes from the Lord. They'll know it comes not just from us, but from the good that we are trying to do. And there will be reconciliation, there will be peace, and there will be a, a deepening and a renewal of the relationship we're meant to have together. God bless, keep, and strengthen you. Amen.